Yvonne. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so you remember that exercise I told you about? Yeah. All sure. right, so let's give it a go. Okay. So oh my God. in a few seconds, okay. we're just going to shout and scream and oh we're going to shake ourselves like crazy, right? So on the count of three. Oh my God. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 right. Try and tell me you don't feel better. Now. Try and tell me. You do, don't you? No, I was thinking you'd be great on film. <laughs> you. You'd be a good actor. <laughs> Why you. haven't you done it? Yeah, it was my favourite subject <laughs> at school. So yeah, maybe. Why haven't you done all this? I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. You know what? It's a it. question I ask myself actually, and I actually think you know they say there's um. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I think us having this conversation was actually for a reason. Because I've taken on board everything you said and I am actually gonna do it. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So we've that... you've got that look. You'd be in lots of commercials. Oh, okay. You would. You've got that face. All right. Well, Definitely. firstly, feel free to keep the compliment the compliments flowing. Feel free, right? <laughs> okay. Right. And uh yeah, welcome. This is the truth about men hosted by me, Kieran. This is a show that's here. Oh, and I'm here with Yvonne. Hi. Hello. So this is a show that's here to uh, give you the truth about men, how we think, how we operate, etc., etc., so that you can have a more cohesive day and experience. So yeah, Yvonne, I do believe you had a question for me that you wanted answered. Definitely. So what was that? So um, talk to me. It's believed that um, like females are more emotional, mm. um, and there's a, a female. Well, it's called like the love emotion and you can you, you, oxytocin right oxytocin yeah mm. and um it's known that females release that through mm. um through through sex and also through bre breastfeeding and um, even hugging um men are reading up on it now men do also release this but in smaller doses um and i just wanted to know like women are considered emotional not all the stereotype you know everyone can feel all different ways mm. um with their partners and um i'm just wondering what you think of men and emotions uh, through sex all right basically. so here's an interesting thing so i found a study right okay and what they did was they got loads of men so like there's 50 men or so and they had a control group and had a non-control group and what they did was they had an attractive woman um walk up to those men and then they asked the men to say when she was too close yeah now they sprayed the either the woman or the men they sprayed them with oxytocin mm -hmm. beforehand yeah. now the men who were in relationships oddly enough you probably might not have expected this but the men who were in relationships were uncomfortable when the woman was too close the men who weren't in relationships were cool for her to be come closer so if they were in a relationship they wanted her to be about six inches or so further back than the women than the men who were were not in relationships so what that kind of suggests is that when a man's actually with a woman he kind of like bonds to her mm. through like the act of sex anyway that's one thing but anyway right so here's something that i found online so during ejaculation, men release a cocktail of brain chemicals, including norepinephrine, serotonin, oxytocin, vasopressin, nitric oxide, and the hormone prolactin. Now, have you ever had a situation happen where you had sex with a guy and then afterwards he falls asleep really quickly? Yeah. Okay, well, all right, cool. <laughs> Do you find that annoying? No. It's no? Just... It just is what it is. Cool, well, here we go, we're about to explain. So, <laughs> the release of prolactin is linked to the feeling of sexual satisfaction and it mediates the recovery time that men are well aware of, the time a guy must wait before giving it another go. Studies have also shown that men deficient in prolactin have faster recovery times. Prolactin levels are naturally higher during sleep and animals injected with the chemical become tired immediately. This suggests a strong link between prolactin and sleep, so it's likely that the hormones released during orgasm causes men to feel sleepy. <laughs> yeah. Side note, prolactin also explains why men are sleepier after intercourse than masturbation. For unknown reasons, intercourse orgasms release four times more prolactin than masturbatory orgasms, according to a recent study. Oxytocin and vasopressin, two other chemicals released during orgasm, are always associated, are also 
associated with sleep. Their release frequently accompanies that of melatonin, the primary hormone that regulates our body clocks. Oxytocin is also thought to reduce stress levels, which again could lead to relaxation and sleepiness. It is possible that the sleepiness is just a side effect associated with more evolutionary important reason for the release of oxytocin and vasopressin. In addition to being associated, associated with sleep, both chemicals are also intimately involved in what's called pair bonding, the social attachment human mates commonly share. The release of these brain chemicals during orgasm heightens feelings of bonding and trust between sexual partners, which may partially explain the link between sex, sex and emotional attachment. This bond is favorable should the couple have a baby as cooperative uh, child rearing maximizes the young one's chances of survival. Now, do you have any thoughts on that? Because that is very interesting, but it doesn't quite, in my opinion, get to what you asked me. Or does I feel it? like... Um um, society makes us feel like women are emotional and men um, are macho and um, there's you know this stereotype that only women are releasing these emotions but through your research it, it's basically saying men also release all these emotions as well and these yeah. chemicals so um, yeah I mean maybe they're not expressing as much their emotions well, but a, it is there well, there's so. a couple of things like it, it is like it, number one it is there and something i have noticed is that a lot of women i'll say like men have feelings and like women will go what <laughs> really <laughs> like i i remember i've said this to a really good friend once i explained it to her like you do realize that men have emotions and this was like a very intelligent and spiritual woman right who believes that we're all souls having a human experience and she's like whoa kieran you're blowing my mind oh my god men have feelings so that's part of it. But also it's like, OK, I honestly think that what you're getting at is you're basically saying a woman has sex with a man and there's a strong emotional connection that's created. Mm -hmm. And you're asking if men feel the same way. And honestly, I think yes, but I think it's much less. I think it is because the truth is like. For the most part, let's say you've got like a married couple. And let's say the married couple both cheat on each other. The odds are the woman is cheating with someone who she has gotten to know and formed a strong bond with. That's the that's what's most not likely. Not always. No, yeah, not yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. Not always. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, let's say there's a hundred married couples and there's um yeah, hundred married couples who have cheated. I would say about 80% of the time or so, the majority of the time, the woman has an emotional attachment to the person she's cheated with. However, often what you see more often is the man has cheated with someone he doesn't really have an emotional attachment with. It was just some woman on holiday or just some stripper or something. Still terrible, don't get me wrong, but he usually didn't have the emotional connection that the woman did. So I think there is a difference to how men and women uh, approach sex to some degree. Like, or receive emotions from it, if you see what I mean, or a connection. Mm. But we are living in times where there's like non-binary and all that, you know. So where do they, where I, do they fall? I, I honestly have no idea. We're saying, you know, um, gender roles, male and female, but a lot of people don't even want to use that them terms any, anymore, you know? Well, that's true. But then the thing is this. I don't really know anything about those people, why they feel the way that they do, etc. Yeah. So what I mean is this. I'm aware that I know nothing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. any rule has exceptions to the rule, you know? So most women would prefer a man who leads, okay? But that's not all women. Mm -hmm. I say most. Most women would prefer a man to ask her out. Most women would not prefer to be the one who does the asking. But there are still women that are prepared to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, most men would be insecure if a woman has had many sexual partners. But there well, are we're men. We're going there, are we? <laughs> no, it's true, though. We're going the count. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You, yeah. It's true. But there are men who don't care. Mm -hmm. So I do realize that even though there's general trends, that doesn't necessarily correlate to everybody because it's just a trend. Now, where people like that are concerned, people who call themselves non-binary and whatnot, I don't know. Is it like, is that innate wiring in their brain? Are they just born with brains that are wired differently? I don't know. 
Is it social conditioning? I don't know. Like when I say social conditioning, like their life experiences that have led them to that, I have no idea. Yeah. Mm. So if a female proposed to you, love it. <laughs> would love you? it? Yeah. You wouldn't mind. Of course not. Oh, Look, you see, this is what I'm saying, right? Really? Like there are, yeah. Like I know most men will probably want to do the asking. I'd love to be, yeah. Make me feel, make me feel wanted. That's fantastic. <laughs> beautiful yeah. look I'll, I'll tell you right now right when on the rare occasions that women have asked me out i'm like oh thank you really yeah because it makes me feel wanted oh. who doesn't want to feel wanted i love i just couldn't no. you couldn't <laughs> no no this is what but see this is what i mean most women couldn't no, no. yeah well, i would love it so yeah if there are any women who are watching you have an urge to ask me out I'm, I don't know, give you a shot. I don't know. At the very least, it's going to be received as a heartfelt compliment. At the very least, but yeah. Um, is there anything else you wanted to say about that? Yeah, that's, that pre pretty much scratches the. All right, so there we go. Essentially, um, yeah. Do men like emotionally bond? Oh, uh, yeah. It's quite clear that we do. Do we bond emotionally to the extent that women do? In my opinion, I don't believe that we do. And the reason why your man is falling asleep directly after he has sex with you isn't that he's lost interest in you. It's that there's chemicals in his brain that have been released as a result of the ejaculation that are telling his body it's time to rest, recuperate and recharge. It's nothing personal. But that's it for today's episode of The Truth About Men. So if you like the cut of our jib, if you like what I've had to say and you also like what Yvonne has had to say, um, well, firstly, drop a like and comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel and slam that notification bell as well so that you can be informed of all of our future videos. So thank you. Goodbye. Ta-ta. See you later. Au revoir. So guess what? I want to um, interrupt this video to let you know that I'm also an author. I'm not just a dating coach, but I'm also an author too. And I've written a book that I spent a ton of time working on. It is called Preeta's Web of Chaos and it is a young girl's journey of transformation. Now, what happens is that she encounters some situations that are really hard for her to deal with. They scare her, they terrify her, they push her outside of her comfort zone. And as a result of dealing with these hardships, she learns to find a strength, a resilience, a courageousness and a power inside her that she did not know actually existed. Like I said, I tried really hard with this book and the reason why I write it is because I wrote it is because I love to write stories. It's the main thing that I would want to do and I just want to share my passion with the world. So if you could find it in your heart to give it a try, there's a link in the description. I'll just love you for life.